hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing great today in this video we are going to discuss about discord how discord is able to index billions of messages they are not thousands they are not millions it's billions of messages and that's occurring every day the most used feature like if you use any chat app is the is it search part like you want to search a particular message some message someone sent you maybe their address maybe their phone number something they sent on chat and you want to find it similarly on discord also a lot of people wanted to use this feature in which they wanted to find particular text so for this search part we all know we cannot use our main database that we have or the persistent data store that is present even if we want to use this persistent data store that we have in which we are actually storing the actual data then also we would have to consider like how would we create the indexes now what is an index an index you can consider simply like a index of a book so for example if you want to jump to a particular chapter you find that index on which page number it is and you jump similarly database indexes are a kind of way to search a particular data entry in your data on the basis of some values those values on which you create the index they are called the keys of those index so one way can be to use that persistent data store for the searching capabilities but as you know this chat is a message so in a message there can be multiple keywords so basically you would have to create a keyword like first divide those message into keywords and then basically in provide search capabilities on those keywords so it is not possible in your actual persistent data store which is there so discord uses cassandra as its persistent data store now let's talk about how we will perform this search and how discord does it so first thing that that is a quite an industry standard everyone kind of uses it like if you perform some search on some kind of structured unstructured data like there is no fixed fields which are there everyone kind of uses elastic search elastic search is a open source technology which basically helps you create indexes on your data and then allow fast retrieval on like large amount of data so that's what discord did they started using elastic search now let's see how will this elastic search come into the picture like how will discord basically use this elastic search to provide search on the messages which are there in any discord server on channel now the first thing that comes into the picture is when would this indexing happen like do you want it real time or you can do it at a later time like when do you want it so like whenever you do chat you don't want to search just after you sent a message or received a message you can search you want to basically search some old messages only like whenever you have to search so in this case real time is not required and also one great thing about elastic search is that elastic search performs better in indexing when you provide it a lot of data to index rather than keep on sending information one by one and make it create an index now we basically have to push bulk messages and create index in elastic search now how will we do that we have the real time chat we cannot slow that down so we are receiving constant messages on different discord servers now how will we pick those messages from the persistent data store and put it into elastic search so for that you would have to first create some queuing mechanism a mechanism to actually put the real time messages which are coming in so that's what discord did they used a distributed queue called celery there are now managed distributed queues available by different cloud providers so you anyone they could have used that also but that is costly so they went with an open source solution called celery now what this distributed queue would do like any messages which are coming they would be pushed to the persistent data store obviously which is cassandra and also to this queue now in this queue there are bulk of these messages which are available now we need someone to pull these messages and post into the elastic search where the indexing would happen so for these we need some workers we call these index workers now when they built this solution there were already some messages in some of the servers so we need to actually pull those messages also like which were already present and then create index on those so for these they needed historical index workers to basically index those older messages which are present 
now we know like what is happening when the messages message came now the message came it is posted into the queue and it has to go to elastic search for indexing on which the searching would happen so now let's try to understand about what is elastic search index let's try to draw a parallel between the mysql databases so like similarly in mysql databases you have something called database which has then tables and which has then columns and rows similarly in elastic search there are indexes in these indexes there are some types these types are can be you can say as tables and within these types they are then documents which are columns and rows now how does this work let's see so for example let's suppose uh, i'll take an example from the official website which is there so let's suppose you create an index called car factory index now in this you can uh, include different types like person you, you this means that you want to search on the base of a person like if you put a name you want to search on the base of that and you want to get all the documents so you put a type called person similarly you put a type called car so that's how you basically define the types these kind of act as your tables and finally these contains the documents which are the basically your mapping now all these indices are in a elastic search cluster why do we need a cluster because we don't want just one server to be running our index so there is an elastic search cluster in that cluster there can be multiple indexes or multiple databases and similarly in that multiple indexes there can be multiple types now like when discord has to index their messages now each message can be a part of different index they create so they want to decide that th this message would go in which type of index they will define those indexes on the basis of search queries they want to provide in their discord channel so they will create the indexes on the basis of that now they don't they cannot just rely on one cluster they need to have multiple elastic search clusters running for them because they are getting billions of messages every day so they have a, a lot of clusters and in those clusters there are multiple indexes now how do they decide on which cluster and index a message which has come will go so to keep this mapping which is a combination of this cluster and index they create a name called shard now don't confuse this shard with the shard which is actually there in elastic search we'll talk about that later so they call this a shard so any data which is any message which is coming uh, we have to map it to a particular cluster and some indexes in that cluster so th this mapping they store in their persistent data store which is cassandra but every time like when they have to store like fetching this mapping is very slow so that's why they need some cache so they use redis for that so they store this mapping in redis also now a class elastic search index can have multiple shards now this shards is a different shard from the one discord uses this shard is basically determines like uh, how do you want to basically divide your index and basically each shard is a lucene index lucene is apache lucene and apache lucene index is basically nothing but just an inverted index which is there inverted index is nothing but simply on the base of a particular key you have some documents present now let's talk about some code like when if a message comes how is it stored into the elastic search what apis you need so like you can one thing you can do like your message came and you store it into elastic search directly raw message you store it and you would have to store it as a text field because you cannot store it as a keyword field so there are two types you can use text or keyword now if you store it as a keyword that means you would have to search the whole message to actually find that which you do not want you want to search a message on the base of some text some words in that text so use you use a text type and so what this would do that elastic search automatically takes if if it takes a field and it is on the base of text it has to index the it breaks down in on the base of some analyzers there are various analyzers in elastic search so it breaks down them and then stores it into the indexes so basically for example 
whatever the sentence is for each word you will get that particular message when someone searches it so like if you give no mapping elasticsearch what it does it creates both the indexes the text based also the keyword based also so instead of doing this and relying just on elasticsearch discord uses some pre processing on these messages so what they do they define they provide a mapping that uh this field should be a keyword field this field should be a text field and that's how they created a whole mapping which they give to elasticsearch elasticsearch uses this mapping to actually store that particular message now while storing this message you basically are storing for example uh, suppose there is a simple sentence that cat is drinking water now it has some metadata also related to this message for example which user sent it which server this person belong to or other types of things so you want to index those things also so that's why discord need to do this pre processing before so that these things are also included in the elastic search index now on this actual message thing so for example you want to search just on the basis of cat one thing you can do that for each keyword you store the complete message that would cause the amount of storage elastic search cluster to need to be very high so to solve this what they did instead of storing the complete message discord stores just the message id and a timestamp it's a combination of both things they store it and then when someone searches it they get this id and timestamp use their persistent data store to actually fetch that message and then show it to user so there are two calls when someone is searching first is to the elastic search to actually search on the basis of those keywords so once those keywords are there then there is a call to the actual data store to get these messages which are present so that's how the whole search thing occurs now let's just summarize all of this so a message comes the message then goes to a queue then there are some workers which pick up this messages in bulk and preprocess these to create a mapping like whatever json mapping they create then they push this mapping along with the normal message which is broken down into keywords to elastic search and then elastic search creates an inverted index to all these things which the workers have sent so this message like cat is drinking water will be broken down into cat is drinking water and for each word there will be the mapping will be of that message id and that timestamp now when someone searches a particular keyword or on the basis of some other field like for example it search someone searches on the basis of a particular user someone searches on the basis of a particular server whatever a person searches on it will make a call to elastic search elastic search will send them the message id this message id would then be used to call cassandra which is their persistent data store to get the message and then that message will be displayed to the user so that's how the complete workflow works so in this i covered a lot of concepts of elastic search also and how discord uses elastic search uh, let me know if you have any doubts and uh, let's have some great discussion in the comment section uh, uh, because the best way to understand is to discuss things and if you actually understood it then you might have some questions so put them down in the comments below see you in the next time.